I've got Jumper in the house right now for an interview. What are you saying, bro? I'm chilling. I'm loving it. Because I'm where, vibing. Where have you just travelled from? Far? Hainal. Hainal. Very, very what? far. Where's that, bro? Very I far. I don't even know I, where that is. I don't is. know where it is. I live is there. Is that in London, <laughs> though? Like... Um, on Google, it says it's London, but people people don't say it's London, innit? but okay. I, I, rep, I rep East Town, okay? All right, t- tell everyone a bit about yourself. How old are you? Where are you from? Mm-hmm. Um, my name is Jumper. I'm 20. I'm from East London, Hainault. I'm a self-produced artist. I produce every single thing I drop. I love music with my heart, and this is what I put my soul into, and yeah, we out here. All right, firstly, the name, Jumper. Where, like, where's that come from? <laughs> Um, basically, yeah, one time I was at Collie, no, I, I, I came yard from Collie and then I was sitting on the laptop and I was like, I was looking for jumpers and I was like, mm. I actually love jumpers. And I was like, you know what? Jumpers slightly catchy, you know? That is. And then literally that was my name ever since then. And then so you just nice shortened it to the JMPR. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, to add yeah. a bit of, add a bit of sauce. sauce. Yeah, Jeez. come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go to the beginning of when you first started making music. Cause I know you're very musical. As you said, you produce your own stuff as well. So when did you first like pick up an instrument or start rapping? I first started in a year, I think it was late year nine. I was going through like peak depression. I didn't know what the hell was going going on. Never really experienced that type of feeling before. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, so basically I was at tuition and then my teacher was taking the mic on me saying, I'm dumb, I'm stupid. I'll never be anything, blah, blah, blah. Then I got, I got peakly depressed. Then the next day in school, I came, came in with a Bible. I even read it, it just felt nice to have mm. that I came in with a notepad, started writing lyrics down, just rhyming words like um, time, rhyme, um, sublime, trying. And then I literally started like that rhyme word and they just felt good. And I was like, cool, I'm gonna start expressing myself through this way. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then, um, yeah, I went to the playground, me and my friends would freestyle every single day, nonstop. And then, yeah, that was pretty much the start of it. No, that's sick. When did, when did it get to the point where it was like, this actually a career I want to do like when did the hobby turn into a career kind of thing mm, you know it was when I went to college and I saw all these people that were much better than me and I was like shout out to Sadu yeah one time I saw him rap and I was like what the the guy that won um, yeah, rap yeah, game yeah 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 yeah. I met him at White City um, before I went to college and I saw him I was like yo this guy is crazy good and then um, it just motivated me to keep on getting better and better and then when I started producing I was like whoa I'm actually good at this and then Music was like the only thing I actually felt like I was actually good at and Mm. I could do it naturally without even thinking about it. All right, listen, let's get into the first tune, Third Degree. Uh, You dropped this in August as a Mm. single. Tell us a bit about the song so we can play it. Third Degree produced by me. It's um, when I produce, I think of everything in terms of a movie. So even the outro, when you hear the outro, it, it sounds like. I don't know, some Victorian type of weird, I don't know, some some cool stuff. But with this song, I was, um, I had just got a job at the Glass Factory and I was really proud of myself. I was making decent money and I was like, yo, I'm making money, I'm proud. Let's keep on doing this. And that's pretty much how the song came about. Sick, man. Let's get into it. This is Third Degree by Jumper. Money's on mum. And that was Third Degree by Jumper. Come what on. a track. We were just talking about the fact that you actually produce all your songs. And mm. like, literally, that is mind blowing. Thank you. Tell me about how, like, like how you thought about, you know what? I'm actually going to be a producer of all my songs. Um, You know what? It was one of them ones, like, I always said to myself that I've, I've always known I'm a very creative person mm. and I'm very weird, as you quote unquote weird, whatever you want to call it. But for me, it's like, I love to be myself. And when it comes to production i be myself a hundred percent and something that had inspired me was um there was one producer that i really really liked and every time i asked him for a session he'd long it and i'm like yo this like come on like i want a session you're like you're longing it out like you're yeah, cold yeah. like I, I need some beats and then um that inspired me to start and then also when i first heard about tyler creator I, I um first heard flower boy and in the comments they said that he produced everything i was like what seriously mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, I was like, I would love to do that. And then I just started doing it. Mm. Been doing it for like two years now. Pretty decent at it. And yeah. like you're hard, you're hard, you're hard. <laughs> you were saying how like you have that kind of inner confidence within yourself um, and that you feel like you're unique. Like, obviously in this day and age of social media and everything, everyone making comments on, on each other and things, like how do you find, like how can you just stay like yourself fully like what's your ways as an artist for just you know blocking out what everyone else is saying 
and just doing your thing like what would you say like for me i meditate a lot i go out for walks a lot i talk to myself in the mirror a lot when I wake up, I stretch, listen to motivation. <laughs> Is that you, yeah? I swear that's that's my morning routine and my routine in general. Like for me, self care is important, like so important because social media isn't really a nice place. Mm. It can be nice, but it also can't be. But I feel as if it's a thing where I don't watch other people because it's like you could be doing, in your opinion, really bad this today. And then yeah. next year you could be on top, on top. One thing that um, motivated me was when Takashi Six Nine and Trippy Red were having that this this beef. They were like, "Oh, who's best? Who's the best?" Blah blah blah. And um, Six Nine Mail went down the negative route, and Trippy Red was still doing his thing. Yeah, now yeah. Trippy Red is he's still up there, but Six Nine, where is he? Mm, and then it's yeah. a thing where it's like, "Don't watch, just do you," because you never know what can happen. Hundred percent. Literally. Let's get into the EP. So you dropped the EP re- recently. Mm. I was loving it, bro. Like, tell us a bit about about how that came about. Is is there a concept <laughs> behind it? Like, what's the concept? Oh, that's funny. Um, basically, yeah. I was talking to this one girl. I liked her best, best. <laughs> and after, boom, bad stuff happened. And then um, I just started to write a song about it. And then I was like, you know what? Why not drop an EP? Yeah, and it was all about love and how I realized that being nice all the time does not get you what you want. It's like, and this is in the aspects of life, not mm. just relationships. It's like, um, for example, in Squid Games, when that guy, I can't remember his name. I don't know if you watched it. Have you watched it? I, I watched like most of it, but I didn't finish it still. Mm. But there was, one, there was one bit where they had these marbles and then um, basically there was a nice guy giving him the marbles and he was doing good things but the guy manipulated him because of that Mm -hmm. and they just made me think like this is like a metaphor for life because when you always be so nice and so kind some people see you as weak they made me think like this just isn't ain't the way to live so i made the ep about it sick man listen my favorite song in the ep is in the cold can't lie tell us a bit about that song then we're gonna play it for the people um in the cold (laughs) um oh so I was listening to Drake and Rihanna Take Care and I was thinking this song like why is no one making music like this anymore Mm. because this song is actually so beautiful like the instrumental is amazing amazing and I was thinking I'd love to make a song like that and what would it sound like if I was featured with them so I was was thinking like I'm just going to make a beat that gives me that feeling when it comes to like producing and music in general I, I, I go off of feeling and it's kind mm-hmm. of hard to explain to someone that doesn't really do music proper because they could be like, oh, but yeah, I go off a feeling. And then um, I tried to make a beat that felt that way. And then in the cold came about, I shouted Ajani and then he did a beautiful verse on it. He comes in on the second verse. The beat is, whoo, whoo. Yeah, it's fire. My gosh. It's fire, guys. <laughs> Listen, we got to get into this. This is in the Man. cold, Jumper featuring Ajani. My favorite on the EP. Let's go. That was in the cold by Jumper featuring a Johnny. Listen, li- little secret. I-, I was actually in the music video for that. Jeez, just, oh uh, yeah. just for a little bit. You, you know, were swagged out. You were swagged just, out. Just rolled through for a bit of the music video. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, yeah, that yeah. music video is looking cold though. Thank big you. up to Honey JD as well, mm, who filmed enough. that and edited it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, big up big to him because he supports underground artists bare. Like, very, he's one of the big. main guys. I actually saw your one on there. I was watching yeah. it. Amazing. Amazing. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. <laughs> how like how did you do you have a part to play in like the music video concept or you know what i'll be real for that one not really because sometimes like when it comes to music videos i'm not really used to it properly yet mm. so i got like quite overwhelmed i was like you know what if you know spots just do your thing in it yeah, yeah so yeah. It really and truly it was, it was honey and big respect to him because yeah i'm still trying to get used to videos and figuring it out yeah you're more of the music side of things than yeah visual. okay all right i want to know like who are your influences oh, like your main yes. influences <laughs> fro williams number one forever i love that guy um tyler the creator billion percent um tame impala uh hmm, ooh. just a lot of the old school stuff scott storch timberland missy elliott mm-hmm one more for luck. Uh, Go on. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm under pressure. Like, you named know. quite a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Kanye? Do you rate oh Kanye? my gosh, wow. How did I forget about him? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I was thinking yes, that because yes. he obviously does a lot of production mm-hmm. as well. 
he's, mm-hmm. he's, he's gone a bit rogue though like <laughs> but it is what it is yeah. <laughs> but God listen i want to i want to know like what how you see your future what is the main goal is like what what are you what are you, you fighting know what? for working for i'll be real i see my future like extremely extremely big like it actually scares me a bit to think about it because i genuinely see myself being like one of the biggest artists in the uk 100 mm-hmm. percent. and um my main my main um thing that i'm fighting for i guess is just i just want to want people to feel more free for example like these tooth gems out in my teeth my mom just it was like oh what's that you know and, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know even just just stuff like walking out feeling comfortable in the things you're wearing feeling comfortable with like just freedom of speech and just stuff like that um i just want people to be comfortable with who they are which is why i have the group called individually sick because mm-hmm. I thought as if we're all individuals in this world and that's why when I walk outside and I see people dressed exactly the same and it's, it's just like who actually are you you mm-hmm. know so I, I want people to become individuals and love who they actually are that's pretty much my main reason why so I'm you here got a little uh, collective going on as well yes 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 the individually sick shout out sick man. KD PR Taff T Blue come on Jeez. in terms of music coming up <laughs> do you have anything to just sort of Tease us with what's what's coming up. Yeah, this year? I got a, actually I got a song coming up tomorrow called tomorrow? Um, Yeah 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 Damn. called um, Go Get It. I was inspired by Kanye when I was listening to this. I actually made this um, during my first night shift at the Glass Warehouse Factory. And I was listening to um, what's it called? I forgot what it's called, but one of his albums. And the live instrumentation was just brilliant. And I was thinking, I want to make something just like that. Mm. The outro is beautiful. One thing about me when it comes to producing, like I. I pay attention to detail a lot like the intro has to be proper then the verse has to be different then the outro has to be different everything to me is a movie when it comes to music it's all a movie and um yeah the song's just a movie it's a movie like yeah movie no i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited for that so tomorrow what time what time 8 30 yeah 8 30 in the morning Afternoon. or p.m okay yeah. okay but listen we, you've sent me through your gotta get up song an exclusive mm-hmm. do you want to tell us a bit about this song listen guys this is not out right now so this is an exclusive on represent radio on sound of the underground tell us a bit about that this song is actually out on the ep this song is already okay. out Got a, yeah yeah this song's already out um this one was oh i was in my feelings and um basically i was basically just talking about this girl uh, to an extent that i was talking about my life and how in school i didn't really feel um beautiful didn't really feel attractive and basically just how I how I felt within that time of my life and yeah something relatable something cool you know I'm hearing that I'm hearing that all right listen guys let's get into it this is gotta get up out now on the WEP let's go hey yo hey yo it's cool that was jump up with gotta get up listen thank you for ro- ro- rolling through to represent radio G I'm so grateful that you've come through because I know you're going to be big one day and this is what this show is all about, finding people before they, you know, before they blow up, they blow up and mm-hmm. they're on their come up and just having a chat. So I respect you for coming through and yeah, I have high hopes for you. But I want you to let the people know where they can find you. Um, Instagram or Instagram, JMPR, sick individual. It's quite long, but it's worth it. And TikTok, uh, JMPR5. Love for coming through today, G. Thank you so much for come inviting on, me. On. You made my dreams come true. Thank you, thank hey, you, thank you. Hey, now we got some <laughs> no love of Sante and Mirame. Mm. 